As an organization, our flood has also worked with our partners to establish an education working group to support our flood member states advocacy initiatives to enhance enrollment in schools, especially at the primary school level, intensifying stay-in school policies and programs, and overall ensuring access to education for all. The Education Working Group in WAFLAD is actively pursuing key priorities, including early childhood education to improve access to education for children under the age of seven years, advocating for education and nutrition strategies by calling on our governments to increase their commitment to school feeding programs, intensifying education advocacy by having our First Ladies of Africa advocate for increased access to education for all. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefits of educating girls, especially while still young, are great. It, it is where, not for education, many of us would not be here as first ladies. Educated women contribute significantly to economic growth, reduce poverty rates, and improve health outcomes for themselves and their families. When girls success and complete their education, they are more likely to explore work outside the home, challenge gender stereotypes, and break the circle of poverty in their lives and families. By providing girls with a solid foundation, we equip them with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed. 60% of our continent's population is under the age of 25, which emphasizes the importance of education in unlocking the potential of our continent's youth, particularly girls. This is a call to our respective governments, civil society organizations, and partners to prioritize investments, policies, and programs that will enable every girl to attend school. This requires allocating a higher percentage of national budgets to education. We thank our flood for its commitment to empowering girls in Africa through education, building a more equitable society, and unlocking opportunities for prosperity for our continent's youth. Well, I've invited you because I wanted you to know a bit more about the campaign that we've been working on. And so it hasn't moved that far from the maternal mortality campaign. We feel like we made a difference there with more to do. But education, I know, is a passion that everyone shares. Whatever your cause, whether you're thinking about climate, about gender equality, about disability and inclusion, you know, all of you share so many different passions. But education is often, well, I would say always, the answer to at least some of it. And what our focus is this evening is we really believe that it's those naught to five-year-olds where we've got to make a really big difference. And there's a moment here where leaders have been looking at it, the G20 this year, other groupings at the UN, are happy to look at how we can act for early years. So the call to action that you have is to look at the campaigns you have, look at the connections you have, look at what's happening in your own countries, look at how you can support each other, and think about the difference that we can make for those naught to five-year-olds. That work, I know, will continue. Thank you.